Okay, now settle down everyone. This week's case review is number 2023, which concerns the disappearance of two NYP detectives in the summer of 2017. Now, as some of you may know, I was trained on the job as a rookie by Barney Muldoon himself, and so I'm very keen to see some progress on this case from you guys. What you have in your hands are a selection of memos between Muldoon and Goodman concerning an event that took place in England, Liverpool to be precise, a few weeks before they disappeared. Now I've reviewed the case files and I'm presenting the highlights here today, along with a couple of theories of my own that I've worked on. I want to begin with some innocuous looking posters and the number 23. Now, I'll look at why the number is so important in a few minutes time, and see how it was keeping our detectives up at night. But first, let's have a look at the very first poster. In the first week of 2017, a single tricolor poster appeared on a wall in North London. It announces very little, and it is deliberately vague, but there is a message to be decoded here. We can see four very obvious mentions of the number 23. 23 years. 23 year moratorium. Years again. 23rd of August, the date of the start of the event. Now, looking at the dates involved, we also get two more 23s. We look at the date, the 23rd of the 8th, 2017. Well, we've already got a 23 at the start, but what about the 8th and the 2017? 8 times 2 plus 1 times 7 is 23. Also, the date that the poster was first put up, 5, 1, 17. 5 plus 1 plus 17 equals 23. We look at what prompted the 23-year 23 23 moratorium. The trail takes us to Jura and asks us a question. We get three more 23s on the question, why did the K Foundation burn a million quid? 23rd of August, 1994. 08, the month, two cubed. And the year, one plus nine plus nine plus four equals 23. You could say it's 23 cubed itself. Our third poster commemorates the Jura burning and gives us a trilogy of 23s. These are well hidden, so bear with me. First of all, 23 year moratorium. Secondly, the date that the advert was put in the newspaper. It's split into two, oh, 05, 11, and the one, five plus one plus one plus one equals eight, which equals two cubed, which is just fine by me. Plus nine. 5 equals 23. How many 23 so far are we counting? The final poster sheds more light on the original announcement, but it still offers very little in terms of information. Just lots of 23s. Six more, in fact. 23rd of August. The final date of the event. 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 1 plus 7. Per reading, whatever that is. 
11.23, the time the tickets went on sale and the date of the sale of the tickets, 23rd of July. Finally, adding together all the digits. 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 7 equals 22. And then taking the 1 from the 100 gives us 23. One number would not use the 400 tickets on sale. Why 400? Well, Donald and Goodman were obsessed with the number with the law of fives, and they incorporated two of their special numbers, 17 and 23. 17 plus 17 plus 17 plus 17 plus 17 plus 23 plus 23 plus 23 plus 23 plus 23, plus 23, plus 23 equals a rather disappointing 200. But there are two of these mobile guys. Now, if we look at the four posters and have Apollo 23s, guess what? 23, 23s. 23, 23. Look at the book that was the supposed reason behind the return of the justified ancients of Momo. has 377 pages and every attendee got a book got a page from the book but 400 people were there on the first day what happened to the missing 23 sacrifice no particular words in the book there is a message to be found 23rd word on the 23rd page word in the 23rd chapter Break you. What the fuck? Now, this is not a coincidence. This message and all the 23s, they're there for a reason. Mulder and Goodman thought they were onto something, but they never, never, never quite got there. I think I found it. So, why 23? Well, the internet will tell you a million facts or coincidences to do with the number 23. Everything from DNA to prime numbers to the dates of the equinoxes and solstices. The mathematician John Nash attributes his breakdown to the number 23 and the Pope at the time. And the Bible is full of references from Genesis to Psalm 23 all the way through to Revelations. Now, any Christians out there may want to correct me at this point and say, Hey, Sergeant, Revelations has 22 chapters, not 23. Well, I agree, but some people believe the 23rd and final chapter of Revelations has been removed, and it refers to the end of the world. And when I say some, I mean specifically an ancient order of warrior monks, the Knights Templar. Throughout their history, the organization had 23 grand masters before they disappeared, beginning with the widespread arrests on the 13th, the 10th, 1307, 30 plus 10, 23, and culminating mass burnings in Paris in the year of 1310, 13 plus 10, 23. Their seals showed two knights riding a single horse to show that they had given up, or in most cases, burnt all of their possessions, and their temples featured a characteristic circular design. Does any of this look familiar to you guys? How about that? If we reverse the seals in a mirror, if we what the fuck? The Knights Temple men went by many of the names and their dates resonate with 23s. They were known as the Knights of L'Argent Francais, or the KLF. They were also known as the Jerusalem Armed Monetary Service, also known as the JAMS. They were active in the years 1119 to 1307. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 9 plus 1 plus 3 plus 0 plus 7, 23. 
and the dates that they are active coincide almost entirely with the period of history known as the Dark Ages. Now, Pope Calixtus II originally declared their actions as a justi facto, but then his successor, Pope Clement V, ordered that they were cautorizato dalla chiesa, surgically removed from the church. The survivors of the purge left mainland Europe and settled in places like Devon and Scotland, where they set up new churches and possibly the foundations of Freemasonry. They also adopted the Tau Cross as their emblem. The Tau Cross originates in Egypt as a symbol of Tha in hidden knowledge, and in Hebrew it represents salvation from death and eternal life. Compare this to the symbol of known that's associated to the gems. may seem like a bit of a stretch to suggest the biggest selling singles band in the world in 1992 were the continuation of an ancient order who played a significant role in the development of were obsessed by the number 23 and who ended up in mass bonfires but the evidence is therefore all to see now, when reviewing this case, I got in contact with Scotland Yard to see what they had on these guys, these mumble fellas. Their response was six words, too old, mostly harmless, now undertakers. And they sent along some recent CCTV footage that they had. I'll show it to you now. Too old, mostly harmless, now undertakers. Now, before travel to England, both Bill and Goodman had begun to investigate some barbaric murders that appeared to be the work of the same individual. On the face of it, there is no link with their subsequent disappearance, but forensics provided a couple of connections in the form of 23 cuts to each of the victims, and the presence of badger blood at both of the crime scenes. This case also remains unsolved, and the killer struck two more times, but then stopped. Had they completed their task? There were also a couple of unexplained disappearances in Liverpool around the time of these events. It could be nothing, but they're both linked to this Katashi guy, who may be worth further investigation. Goodman and Muldoon goes cold as soon as they arrived in Liverpool. We know that their flight landed, and we know he got, they, got, they got a cab from the airport, but the drivers disappeared, and Mr. Clark being behind two wives and three kids. Finally, I recently received a threatening call that warned me of deep shit if we pursued this line of inquiry any further. It was traced to a frozen dessert factory in the Ukraine, but when I rang the number, all I got was recorded a message. Thank you for listening. Четверка. Он 
Thank you. 